A lot of other people giving their thoughts on social media. Magic Johnson tweeting, Dodger Nation, today we lost an L.A. and MLB legend, Vin Scully. Vin was the voice of the Dodgers from Brooklyn to L.A. for over six decades. LeBron James tweeting, rest in power, a city of angels icon, another great one who made sports so damn special. And Baseball Hall of Famer Ozzie Smith said, I grew up on The Voice and the poetic sounds of Vin Scully. He made listening to baseball fun and educational, simply the best. We welcome in the voice of Sunday Night Baseball on ESPN, Carl Ravitch. Carl, I want to start here because Vin Scully meant so much to baseball, but what did he mean overall to the world of sports? Well, he meant he meant so much because he cut across so many sports. I mean, as Jeremy, you know, started his piece, he kind of backed into the lead, which was he did football, he called golf, and of course he owned baseball. And I, I think when I look back at Vin Scully's career, um, in a lot of ways, you're looking at a man who transcended the country because the sport of baseball was the sport. You know, he he had the bully pulpit for what was America's pastime. People moved to the West Coast with the baseball team. Vin Scully moved along with him. He impacted the two largest cities on a nightly basis, New York City and Los Angeles. No one else, you know, had that platform. And no one else, you know, did it as well as he did it. He is invited into everybody's living room, bedroom, kitchen. We only had one way to, to consume Vin. It was the radio. Then it became television and he grew up, we grew up with him. I mean, those of us that have been at ESPN for three decades recognize, you know, there's an entire generation who was 10 years old that's now, you know, 30 years later, 40 years old. He had that incredible audience, the, the generational impact, which was so unique and, and, and now doesn't exist. And, you know, he landed the plane just perfectly each and every game that he did. Tim Kirchin told us an awesome story earlier about him giving the background of Socrates. What is your favorite Vin Scully memory? Well, I, you know, to be honest, I think the personal memories of, of going to Dodger Stadium and, and, and speaking with him just for a few minutes. You know, we, we live in an I and me generation. Vin Scully was so good at making the conversation about you. He was never an I and me person. So it wasn't necessarily the most memorable calls, which there are so many of, you can't count them. It was really the personal relationship to, to share a seat next to Vin Scully, to walk into the Vin Scully press box, to just interact with him and realize, you know, you, you, were, amongst, you were amongst kings of the business. And his humility and his willingness to share a, a moment, to reflect on some of the things he's done, like, those are the opportunities that I was presented that not a lot of other people were. And, and that's what I remember. The storytelling, the weaving in and out of, the not talking over, all of those things. As I said, Vince Scully is a bar none of us will ever reach. And Vince Scully had the most unique of platforms. And on the biggest stage, you know, the guy just continued to deliver and deliver. You mentioned your personal relationship with him. He also connected really well with fans. How was he able to connect with fans so well? Yeah, I, you know, there's a generation that probably doesn't remember Johnny Carson, who was a, a nighttime, late night TV host. And Johnny Carson had this down home ability that afforded people the opportunity to want to pull up a chair and, and just listen, whether whether he was telling you a story or you were, in a sense, in a conversation with him. That, that's what Vin Scully, to me, did. Um, and he did it oftentimes alone. You know, Vince Scully was a, was a monologue, and yet he drew you in. He made you feel like he was talking directly to you. And he was also talking to your dad. And he was also talking to your mom. And he was talking to your sister. Whoever it was, he somehow made this beeline right into their consciousness. Um, it was the words he used. In a lot of ways, Vince Scully, to me, is like the syrup that you put on pancakes. Everything about him was smooth. It was slow. It was easy to understand. You're like, uh, yeah, like uh, I'll fall asleep with you. I'll get excited with you in the big moments. That, that's how I you know, think Vince Scully got into the minds and, and the consciousness of everybody. Syrup also makes things a lot sweeter, right? So yeah. in 2016, Scully said, I just want to be remembered as a good man, an honest man, right. and one who lived up to his own beliefs, and he definitely did that. 
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.